what I want to share with you is what makes me to go to Saloon today. <laughs> what makes me to go to Saloon? This is the message I was told yesterday. <laughs> when I was I was coming here to preach another message. And I heard God say, this is the message you must tell my people. Yes. Amen. 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 Jeremiah 1 verse 5. Jeremiah 1 verse 5. It says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you and approve you as my chosen instrument. Amen. And before you were born, I consecrate you to myself as my own. I have appointed you as a prophet to the nations. And let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I, I just want, Mama, let's go close to people. We must not stop when it's raining. We must carry on. Uh, I remember I was in Ivory Park Stadium. Who remember that? Yeah, I hope yeah, Ivory yeah, Park, Park Stadium. There yesterday. The moment there was no rain, there was no sign of rain. There was no sign of rain. The mo you know, the moment we get that, the sun of rain came. Oh, by the time when I want to go to preach, I have never seen that rain. I have never seen that rain. And when I reach home, I ask God, why that rain? I say it's a sign of my presence. I, I didn't even understand. You know, there are people who are sick. I wanted to pray for them. There were many people. You were there. And the rain came for a long time. And we stopped. Since we came here, we stopped. Towards the weekend, I'm sure you saw that. I'm sure you saw that. I'm sure you saw that. I'll tell you the reasons why. There are people who are not supposed to come here. You must come here by faith. You must come here by faith. You see, you see even coming to church is difficult. You have to fight to come here. You come by faith. Me have prayed that the wrong people must not come. They will be stopped by rain. It's very good that rain must come. But unfortunately, it also rain when we are here. I mean, uh, it means there are others still want to come. They know I preach three o'clock here. So I pray that this rain must stop people. But it must not rain when we are in church. We understand that. Because we need to hear what God says. I'm sure the rain is hearing us. Let's look at that verse. Jeremiah 1 verse 5. I look at this verse. When you say, before I formed you, I I knew you and I prove you as my chosen instrument. So now yesterday when I was praying for you, God said to me that I must come and tell you that you are chosen. Things will happen because you are chosen. Can you see what was happening to Jeremiah? When Jeremiah was called by God, he looked at his limitations. He looked at his age. He looked at everything around him. 
But look what God says on Mara verse 5. Jeremiah, you are a chosen instrument. Jeremiah, you are a chosen instrument. Can you see that? Because he was looking on other people. He was looking on certain people he know. There are some reasons he gave. If he could read going down. He ended up says, I'm just a boy. He says, I'm the one who have chosen you. Among them, the people that you are seeing, I didn't choose them. So God was telling me, me, because I have chosen, you, I have chosen your people. Go and tell them that I have chosen them. As I have chosen you. So this thing makes me to go to Saloon. I say I want to look like an Indian man. Because if I'm chosen, I might be thinking I'm black. I might be thinking I'm something else. I say, no, let me try to change my Which will surprise mama. And mama was surprised. You are chosen to surprise me. You are chosen to surprise people. People you are born with, they are going to be surprised with you. Because you are chosen. Look here, Jeremiah knew that he is not what he thought. What God was saying. Read that verse again. Yes, read. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And approved of you as my chosen instrument. And approved. Approve. Can you hear that? Before you are walking here. When you know this thing, you know, yesterday I was looking thinking about this. I said, before you are named by your parents. When so Before they try to feed you. I was already given you a mission. That's what God is saying. I know what you are going to do. Sometimes we need to go to God. If you don't believe, go to God. And ask him, who am I? Because God can choose you to be something you think about. God chose you among people. I was reading in the book. Let's just go there. In the book of 1 Kings, chapter 1 from verse 5. Chapter 1 verse 5. Because I'm here to announce the same message. 1 Kings chapter 1 from verse 5. Just read. Then Adonijah, the son of David's wife, Haggith, uh-huh. Exalted himself, saying, I, the eldest living son, will be king. So, following Absalom's example, he prepared for himself chariots and horsemen and fifty men to run before him. His father David had never rebuked him at any time by asking, Why have you done this? Adonijah was also a very handsome man, and he was born after Absalom. He had conferred with Joab. Sorry. He has conferred with Joab, the son of Zeruiah, David's half sister, and with Abiathar, the priest. And they followed Adonijah and helped him. But Zodak, the priest, Benina, the son of Joada, Nathan, the prophet, Shimei, Ray, and David's most formidable warriors did not side with Adonijah in his desire to become king. Adonijah sacrificed sheep and oxen and fattened steers by the stone of Zoheleth, 
which is beside the well, and, Orge, and, and, and Rogel, and he invited all his brothers, the king's son, and all the men of Judah, the king's servants, to his feast. But he did not invite Nathan the prophet, Benina, the most formidable warriors, the most formidable warriors, warriors, or his brothers, Salom. Nathan and Bethseba, then Nathan spoke to Bethseba, the mother of Solomon. Have you not heard that Adonijah, the son of Haggith, has become king, and David, our Lord, does not know about it? Come now, please. Let me advise you and save you life, save your life and the life of your son Solomon. Go at once to King David and say to him, Did you not, my Lord, O King, swear to your maidservants, saying, Solomon, your son, shall certainly be king? after me and he shall sit on my throne why then has Adonijah become king behold while stop there let's, let's listen to this story let's listen to this powerful story here David you know when you're a king you, you marry beautiful ladies when you're a king when you're a king, because you're a first resident. And everybody goes by your rule. And this was forced to him to have beautiful sons. Beautiful girls. The first one was Absalom. Absalom was handsome. But the problem of Absalom, Absalom, he wanted to take over the position before. When the king was still sitting on it. He wanted to take the seat of the king. And that position, somebody must be chosen. He looked at himself. He found his head son. Number two, he was the eldest. There was nobody who was like of his age. He knew that his time is the time that he can remove the king. And take over. The Bible says he was killed. I don't want to talk how he was killed. But the Bible, but the Bible says now. The second born from another woman is Adonija. When Adonija sees that Absalom is killed, he look at himself, I'm The Bible says he's handsome. He was very handsome. You know, I want to tell you, handsome men. Handsome men are like me. We are, we are tall. We are tall. But we are not too much tall. We had some people. We are tall. And we have masses. When we walk, people look at us. I'm sure you understand what I'm doing. You take attention of people. But also, he was not chosen. The Bible says he took it to himself. Sometimes we love to take things to ourselves. We love to take positions to ourselves. This is the time that we must check. No, he had attention. He was attractive. 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 He was 
will be the king after you. So now, you must tell this woman, she needs to know that her son who will be the king because God has chosen this woman. No one knew except the prophet Nathan and this it is only prophets who know where the direction of your position is. How can you reveal to a prophet and say you are in a wrong position? This is your position. If you are fighting for wrong position, you can still have those qualities but you won't take over. I don't know I so today I'm here as a prophet to announce to you that God has chosen you. But you need to know where. You need to know where. If you don't know, I will tell you. I'm here to tell you that the position that God is about to give you, no one can fight it and eat. No one can steal it from you. You are chosen to take it. If you are here, you say, I hear you. You know the Bible says, the son of Haggith, Haggith took it up to him. He had some people who were there. But they never consulted the king. Because they wanted to kill the king before his time. Now, I want to tell you something. When God has chosen you, you cannot fight for your own position. You are placed there and nobody there. There is nobody who can remove you. When God has chosen you, I don't know if you are hearing me. You see people fighting for positions. Those positions are not worth it for them. You can be satisfied when you are down. But the time appointed will come. You can be satisfied when it looks like you are down. But your time of, of staying on that seat has been set by the living God. I don't know if you are hearing me. When this man starts to celebrate, say, hey, now I'm the one who's going to be a king. Taking the leaders, they stand with him. You know, prophet went on the other side. And said, this is against God. God must do what is not. Listen, there are positions that need us to say, hey, your position has been manipulated. We need to restore you to your position. Some of you are in a wrong place right now. It has been manipulated. Someone, Someone is celebrating. And say, I'm taking over. And I'm here to tell you that my God is removing that one. If you believe, shout out hallelujah. Some of you are here to say, I'm here to say, you know, when God told me you are chosen, I told me yesterday, I was outside of my house. It was two o'clock. Because when I went to the house, I said, let me go and check the time. I found it was two o'clock. I said, can you see? Look what you went through. Who has defeated you? Who can rise to talk? That you a I have checked. I have checked. I found no one. I'm still standing. One man from US told me, people were fighting you. Where are they? And I said, the old man is still standing. 
Rahulu Sayem. I said the old man is still there. Rahulu Sayem. I'm here to tell you. Kim Moto Little Sage. That you will fate was. Or in a little cop and a little bit. But the Lord God. Maramorena Mutimo. Will prove that he is the one who has chosen you. You are going to overcome. In a little soul. Jesus, I'm going to overcome. Oh, which only can fake it all. I'm going through troubles. Naki cop and a little bit. I'm overcoming. Maraca soul. I'm going through struggles. Kick up and a little bit. I'm overcoming. Maraca soul. I'm going through shame. It's an agar of soul. Get a when you are chosen, you go through things. Can you hear someone is celebrating that he has taken your position and you are just hearing and it looks like it's over and the prophet stood up. When the prophet stood up, he said, God has promised through your father, your husband, your husband, that he said your son will be the one to take that position. He's the one who's chosen to take that position. Today is the day that we must stand and take some position. Tell about today is my day of taking my position. Because you are chosen. Live like you are chosen. Live like you are the one who is chosen. We, we are living like we have been, you know, try to be, I mean, but the, but the, but the, but the, but what do you mean? It's like we are living as people that have been binded with things that are not supposed to be with us. We are living like we are trying to live a life that we are trying to live as if we are living indeed. Whereas God has chosen us so that we go and lead a life that will teach other people that indeed God has chosen us. God has chosen us there so that even those who does not know him as God must know that he is indeed a living God. When this man was enjoying himself, God lifted up Solomon. And I stood up with him and walk around with him and say he is the one. Then man who was thinking he is going to be the boss over all, he then became a servant. When Adonijah heard this word, he started shaking. I want to speak just a little bit in Venda. When I look at Adonijah, he has already placed himself where he knew for sure that there is nobody who's going to come. When, when he heard that Solomon has been brought by the father so that he is supposed to be in the position when he heard, when he listened he heard that even prophet Nathan was there and then he said God is there he started shaking he started shaking and then he came to Solomon don't kill me king or king don't kill me or king just give me that girl that girl that was given to the king are you hearing what I'm saying somebody will come and speak with you some issues just asking for a favor just because he or she is because you've been chosen when you are chosen there are people who will come to you thinking they are the best or they are above all but then now you will see them when you, they come to ask for favor people that are fighting you they will come and ask favor from you it means that you have been chosen are you hearing what I am saying God wants you when you are just sitting alone there and saying I am trusting in the Lord in what he has said there are people that will come people that are fighting you and they come and say we are asking for favor when somebody is asking for favor he sees that there is no other way because you have been chosen and placed where he himself God wants you to be let me read the word of the Lord for you there in 1st Peter chapter 2 verse 9 chapter 2 9 
the father 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 a concentrated nation, a special people for God's own possession, so that you may proclaim the excellencies, the wonderful deeds and virtues and perfections of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. 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 A race. A race that has been chosen by God. Race. A race. When we speak about a race, it's a black man. We, we are saying this person is a black person. It's fall under, I mean, black race. Falls under the race of black people. India. Indians. White. Whites. All this kind. All this kind of people. Welcome for the Are you hearing me? Race is speaking that. Now the word of God is saying this here. We are a chosen race. Question Are you black or white or are you Indian or what? You can just be having another color. Why? Because you have been chosen. There are things that has happened to you. We are chosen race. A chosen race, are you a dictionary? The chosen race is not found in a dictionary. You only Indian. Is it, uh, there is no Indian? You, you only a dictionary or who Indian? There, there is a dictionary but that race, maybe that will say black race, uh, black Indian white, race, white race is there. Mara, hey, chosen but race. the chosen one, chosen race, chosen race. Listen, I want to tell you this. This chosen race doesn't have a color. The chosen race, I am mala. This is something called chosen. Now when you go somewhere where other people will be denied you will be accepted and chosen. There is no place where you are close to the way you cannot enter. Why? Because you have been chosen. You are a chosen race. When people are unable to pass, you are able to pass. When others are failing, you are succeeding. You are a chosen race. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? The word of the Lord says, because you of that, are special. You are special. You are special also. At your place, you are special. Where you are staying, you are special. The Bible says when it speaks about a chosen one, it means you are serving God with the things that God has trusted you with. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? You are not a black person. When I saw this thing, I'm not trying to speak about myself in a good way. But I have this small, small car. I drove it someday. I went to a place where white people are most of the time there and I packed it there. It was me, a white person then. When I reached that place, when I came out of the car, they were asking, this is my car, if I can bring it here. Why? Because I've been chosen. Even my things are different. And doesn't look like other people's things. I'm not supposed to struggle. I am not supposed to do things the same as others. When I reach a place, I must be visible. That I'm not looking like others. I don't know if you're hearing me. I can say for Lantona. If you're hearing me, just wave your hand. I'll enjoy it. I'm saying it's all I'll never fail. Stop living like a stupid person. 
You have been chosen by God Himself who created heaven. Stop living like a person who is suffering. You are not suffering. You have been chosen. You have been chosen. In the midst of many people, you have been chosen in your own generation. You have been chosen amongst your friends. You have been chosen in all your enemies. That is why your life is like that. When you have been chosen, your own things does not look like other people's things. That is why there will be sufferings that will come to you. That is why there will be persecution in your life. But all these things will come just for a certain time. Why? Because you are chosen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You have been cho a chosen people will meet certain things and will conquer. When you have been chosen, you mean things, but you conquer. When people are laughing at you, that day you have met this and this along the road, it's not looking as other people's things. Why? Because you have been chosen. When you have delay, your delay is not like the same one with other people's delay because you have been chosen. When you have been chosen, you don't look like other people you have been born with. I will tell the person that is you have been chosen. God chose you. You have been chosen. I say, let me preach in my mother tongue. It made me to go to the salon. It may be to say I must love myself too. I have been chosen. I have been chosen. I must forget about everything that is happening. Why? Because when the devil comes to do his things, he wants you to forget yourself and focus on the things that are happening. There are so many people here today. They are focusing on things that are happening in their lives. Just take the focus of things and look at the one who chose you. The one who has chosen you is not yet tired yet. He knows where he is taking you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Tell the person that is close to you, you have been chosen. Now I can see this issue is serious. When I'm speaking about the issue, I packed a car somewhere. I did it just deliberately. I did it deliberately. And this white people that are speaking, when I reach there, I'm going to be their topic. And I drove my little car and placed it there. And I stood and I watched them. And they started speaking in Africans. It's me that I've come. Because I'm here. Knowing what God does with me. He cannot do it anywhere. Forget about your troubles. You have been chosen. Forget about your problems. You know the, my wife. When I'm speaking about this, you won't understand. I make an example with myself so that you understand. My children don't know. My wife loved me when I was having only one shirt. And the shirt was black. And I don't even know where it comes from. I don't even know where it comes from. Even my friends deserted me and left me alone because things were tough. Because God wanted to do something in you so that you don't trust in things and people. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That people, God will hide them. God will be doing so that you can reach where you are going. The lady that I wanted to marry, a beautiful lady of long uh, size, at a place they looked at me and said, no, we don't want problems here in our family. 
don't want trouble, suffering. If we can agree this boy to come here, we are just saying suffering must come in its own form and legs. We don't want cases of sufferings in our family. Do you know what Jesus did? The day that I said to this lady, I was praying and I heard a voice saying, where you are going, tell her it's not where she is going. Because she was crying. And she said, I love you because I was hot. I was very hot. She loved me so much because I was hot. And she was crying. And when she was crying then, God told me by his word. I heard a voice saying to me, there's nothing you can say. Go tell her where you are going is not where she is going. You know what happened? When I'm holding my Bible going to preach somewhere, I most of the time went to preach at the church where I belong. Not in Venda, not here in I used to preach when I was still at home. When I'm holding my Bible, I walk from Playfontein, I get into the bus. When I was sitting, somebody came. I don't even understand that person even today. And he said to me, you, don't worry. We know you have been chosen. You have been chosen to go and do things. When I looked at her, she looked down. I don't know if she was female or male. And she or he said to me, you will meet your wife. And you will know her when you see her. The day I saw my wife, she was singing some because I'm chosen God showed me that this is the one and I said I will follow her and I met her when she was wearing a dangara going to school I didn't know she was going to school and I closed the road because I'm chosen I have been chosen and I say, hey, hey, you must tell me now. You must be my wife. When God has chosen you, God prepares things for you. When we are living for God, God will do it in his own way. Don't do things on your own. The word of the Lord is, don't rely on your own understanding. You have been chosen. God has already planned, planned everything of your life. The word of God says, before I forced you, God has already set up the way. The way of you, how you are supposed to go. It has been done already. It has been planned already. You have been, the things have been planned already. You won't fail. You are in the plan of God. You have been chosen. Don't look at the things that are coming your way. Look at where God is taking you. You have been chosen. Don't be afraid because of the situation. God is with you. You have been chosen at your home. God does not look where you have been born. God only looks at you. God only looks at you. God has chosen you. God has chosen you. God has chosen you. Don't worry. When you are being oppressed, when things are not going your way, God does not look at the situation of your own. God is taking you where you are supposed to be with your situation. Right now you will forget where you are coming from because God loved you. God has chosen you. He knows you. I am seeing God standing with you today and say, hey, I have chosen you. I have chosen you. I have chosen you. That is why you meet things that you don't even understand. That is why you meet things that you fight with. You want to go forward and you ask yourself questions. Why have you been born in this family? Hey, I am telling you today, you have been born in that family, but you have been chosen right there so that you can be faithful and so that you can conquer. God has woke up for you right there. 
You have been chosen. But when I started believing that I have been chosen, if I can tell you what happened to me, you will say I'm lying. You will say truly you are lying. The things that happened to me are very much strange. Now I'm used to them. Why? Because I've been chosen. Sometimes I will tell this place that I walk with. When I am walking, I will say things like circles. Are you hearing me? I will say things like waves surrounding me. Walking surrounding me. Being down on the floor. And I will be able to see them. I will be able to see them. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I know indeed that I've been surrounded. I don't want to hear anybody. Body, that will come and say, tell me something. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I have got faith and I trust in my God. Just because I know what is happening in me. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I have some experiences. I can write a book about what I'm meeting. I write a book about what I see or what I'm meeting. Why? Because what God does, God wants you to have experience so that you can come out of the worst things. Come out of things that you can never tell anybody. And God takes you to a place where you will forget what happened to you before. You know what happened to Joseph? When Joseph was rejected by the brothers, when he met so many bad things, God chose him. And God took him where there was nobody. Nobody was thinking that Joseph will be there one day. Now this is the time you must know that God wants to take you, lift you up to another level where people will go are going to be amazed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You have been chosen. You have been chosen. When you are chosen, you don't know when I reach a place, when people are, don't even know me, they will look at me. When I reach a certain place, the place must change. Because when you are chosen, you don't walk alone. You don't walk around alone. You can be in an accident that killed other people and you don't die. Why? Because you are chosen. If you are chosen, things will happen in the lives of people you just watch them by your own eyes. 10,000 will fall this side and another side. 1,000 will fall on the back. But you just watch and see by your own eyes. You will see by your own eyes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let us read the word of God. You will think it's because I don't have verses to read. John 15, verse 16. John 15, 16. Oh God. 15, 16. Mm. It says, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And I have appointed and placed and purposefully planted you. So that you will go and bear fruits and keep on bearing, and that your fruit will remain and be, be lasting. So that whatever you ask of the Father in my name, as my representative, He may give let's to you. There, let's, there. let's look at that word. Purposely planted you. You know what it says in Venda? I placed you knowingly. Come on. No, no. Purposely planted you. I placed you knowingly. 
In other words, God allowed you to be born in that family knowingly. And he knew you before you were born. Mm. Are you hearing what he's saying? This verse is saying you, before Billy, when you were born, God looked as where am I taking this one? If I take this boy to this rich people, he will start doing business. They will say it's because the parents were rich, they had business. God has placed you right there, knowingly. There is a place where God placed you in your job. And He placed you purposefully. So that you worked there purposefully. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The place where you are in, God has made it knowingly. Knowingly. Yeah. Just go to Zulu. Maybe Zulu can speak something. That is the only word. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me try to show you something. Let me ask these two men to come to the front. Come with your own chest. Your chest must be having nothing. Put the other one on the front and the other one at the back. Come and sit. You just stand there. God has placed you here because he was knowing what he is supposed to do. So when God placed you here knowingly and God placed this one on top of the chair, it's not because you don't have a chair to sit. There is a chair somewhere in front. Amen. Now it seems as if this one will be lifted from this one and come to another one. Are you hearing me? But God will allow, will allow you to just stand back. And you will look like now you are wondering. There is no way you are going. Come this side. Come this side. Go to the front. And go to the back. Go back what? Go back what again? It's like you are searching, walking around searching for a chair. Why? Because there is no chair. God has placed this one on this chair. Now God does everything purposefully. So that you go up and down and think you are going nowhere. So that you say my me being chosen. It's like there must be nobody who's going to be proud about your choosing. Sometimes God will make you not should be helped by anybody so that there's nobody in your family who will come and beat his own chest or her own chest. Now when God has taken you there and there and bring you back again and took, take you there again, when you are standing there, God say, God, now my son is time. Go sit down. Now when you are sitting down, when you look at the back, look at the back, you will be amazed how did I overtook this one how God works his own things God will make you to overtake not knowing that you are overtaking now when God is taking you there and God is taking you there and there when God is taking you there it is because he is training you so that when you come and sit you won't be controlled by the chair. It will be you controlling the chair. There are people who are being controlled by 
inside their chairs. God, when He's taking you there and taking you there again, it is because He chose you. He does not want you to be controlled by opposition. He doesn't want you to be controlled by people. God brought you here because of a certain purpose. God bless you. When God is teaching you things, some things are not beautiful. Sometimes your friends, your relationships will run away from you. It's beautiful. Why? Because God does not want anybody to come and beat his chest or her chest because of what's happening in you. You have been chosen. The situation that you are coming across, it is coming because you have been chosen. You know what? I know a lot of people here and a lot that are outside there. Many people who are staying in their homes who have been married and are enjoying their marriages are people that people have spoken bad about them. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. To be spoken bad is to see things that are supposed to be on your own. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's time that you know that God has chosen you. If people have loved at you, it's good for you. You must be happy. Why? Because God is taking you to the right place. There's somewhere where God is taking you. Let us read the word. First Corinthians 128. Corinthians chapter 1 verse 28. God has selected for his purpose the insignificant base things of the world and the things that are despised and treated with contempt, even the things that are nothing, so that he might reduce to nothing the things that are. Did you hear that verse? Mm. This verse, when I read it, I said, God, I said, God forgive us. I always, you know, ask God to forgive us. Because God is God of hiding His people. And His people, we normally treat them very bad before they are revealed by Him. Are you hearing that? Sometimes, many people if they tell you their story, you won't love to go with them. But that's what God says. Here. Let us go with the story. 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 God has chosen people. But those that have been looked down upon, people that have met things along the road, people that are mixed up, people that when you look at them, you will see that failure is what they've met along the road. God has chosen those ones. So that those that are saying we are this and that, they see themselves not being what they are saying. Sometimes, I want to tell you this. It won't be good to you, but it's the right thing. It is good for you to be sick sometimes. It is so good for you that you die because you are sick more than when you die because of an accident. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Now, when God has chosen you, he will allow you to suffer so that you search for him. This suffering that you are coming across of speed sickness is that you search for me, come to me. The problem of a challenge that you meet in the world is making you to have a good relationship with this one that has chosen you. God is really. The word of God said, when God loves you, He beats you up. He beats you up. Now, when you are being beaten, don't say it's the devil. Mm -mm. 
I was hearing a certain pastor. He was praying for somebody. And I told my wife, I say, my wife, I was seeing somebody on television praying up for somebody who was sick. That person was a little bit distant far. She was afraid to touch. The Bible said we must lay hands, touch. And when she was looking at the woman, what did you, do you know what she said? She pointed at the woman. Devil, you are a liar. Satan, you are a liar. Satan, you are a liar. Devil okay. Satan, away is the I devil there. This person is sick. And the sickness. We were supposed to sit down with this person. This you see you are sick. Check your relationship with the Lord. Is the relationship strong between you and God? Some people then don't need prayer. We just have to remind them about their relationship with Jesus. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And then I said, now this woman is now saying now this woman is the devil. And, is a lie. and now the woman when she turned she now I cast you away. I cast you. And that woman was just looking. And the woman was just looking. And the devil, we are going so We must change the way we pray for people. We must leave the devil alone. Are you hearing me? Because this devil, we are praising him a lot. Because you are saying he's able to do things that he's not even able to do. Authority has been given to our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are giving the devil authority. We are saying he is able to do things. I want to tell you this today. You know the things you are meeting is because you have been chosen. God is saying you will pass through these things. I'm seeing you having passed through. I'm seeing you having passed through. Change the way you think. Don't say my own is not like other people's own. God chooses those things that are not worthy. it. God chooses things that are not worthy. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God chooses things that are not worthy. In our homes, in our families, it's very much shameful. Very shameful, always fights. People have forgotten themselves. A person who has been chosen. Even though people hate him or he will not. Why? Because he will just say, I've been chosen. But I have been chosen. People, things are tough, I've been chosen. Hey, things are coming down, I've been chosen. Things are happening, I have been chosen. You must change the way you think you have been chosen. Just the person that is close to you, you have been chosen. Stop suffering yourself, you have been chosen. I know right here in Charis. There are people who have been chosen. God has seen see this one. I've chosen this one. You see this one. I've chosen it. Now, why is the person meeting all these things? Because I chose him. You see this one, I chose him. Why the future is not there? I've chosen the person. And those many people that have been chosen, we don't even want to be close to them. Why we think they are going to ask things from us? And these people, has, oh God. God is looking at them. God is looking at those people. And these people are again, they are a, a, a temptation a test, to you. A test. a test to you. It's a test of that you can pass. A test of going forward. Now when a person comes to help, don't deny to help that person. Why? Because you have been chosen. You have been chosen so that you go and help. It's a test test until you, so that you can become something. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When I look at you, 
I feel pity for you. Why? Because you didn't know that you were chosen. You are trying to find things of others. Your own is so big. You love your own car. Your own car is so big. You are envying a house or somebody. Your own house is very big. You are envying a house or somebody. Your own house is very big. I want to end this issue by reading a scripture. I've spoken much. Otherwise, some of you, Mama, when is your first time to be here? You won't come back again. So that you come back, let me read a verse. Colossians 3, verse 12. Colossians 3, verse 12. So as God's own chosen people who are holy, set apart, sanctified for his purpose and well beloved by God himself, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience which has the power to endure whatever injustice or unpleasantness comes with good temper. Because you have been chosen. Check your own heart. Check your own heart. The word of God says, you must have compassion in your heart. You see, because you have been chosen, you must be holy because the God that chose you is holy. Have a connection with the, that one who chose you by checking your own heart. I was amazed when the Bible speaks about patience. So that you endure things that will be done on you which are not good. This patience makes you to endure things that will be done on you which are not good. When you are enduring, it is because you are holy. When you are enduring, it is because you are holy. Have a heart that has been written here. The Bible says, Humility. Pride is very dangerous. Pride See to it that you have friends of people that are below you, below your standard. But we are sorry, humility, if I was sorry, we are never going to come near me. Oh, you can't come here to tell you that you are my friend that depends on you. Are you hearing me? Not a person who is of your own level. I became bored most of the time. I met a certain sister and I said to her, I told my wife this, I met this sister in the mall. I said to her sister, you have got wrong friends and then these wrong friends are misleading you. You see what they do, these people. People want to live as a group. A group of sisters, a group of brothers. Because you are the same age or you work at the same place. If you want God to lift you, break out. Break out and be alone. And search for a person who is searching for things that you have. It will drop or uh, take away your pride. You know people will book lodges. Will go to places to dance. Will go to drink things that are very much bad. Are you a prophet? Then our aunt will How do you know my things? And she was very angry. She was very angry. That if you don't stop this, something wrong is going to happen. 
and I get into my car and I went car and I went away. And she spoke with the boy. He was saying, "Ha, what's going on? Why? Tell me this. Why I'm putting it on my chin? I'm living like that. That is my life. From there." She started crying. There are other people who speak quick, quick, quick. Because they don't think. From there she started crying. Hey, I was drinking in February. Good Friday face. Even Good Friday only. And I said she is lying. She is a liar. If you want to fight your own pride today, live a life like you have nothing. Don't live showing people that you have things. Check your own heart. Check your own heart. And live with everybody. Even we, we can ask you the friends you have are people you work with, the people of your own caliber. If you want to fight with the pride that is in you, you can live a life of humility. Take the things that you have and search for other people and give those things to them. Feed other people. See that other people are happy. And lead, stop uh, living with people of your own caliber. 